we start with breaking news. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has made her decision 2016, naming Virginia Senator Tim Kaine as her running mate for the White House. Kaine has served the people of Virginia for more than 20 years, and soon that experience may make him a representative for the entire United States. As the November election gets closer, we are finally getting a clear picture of who will be on your ballot. Yeah, it puts Virginia in the middle of an election cycle that's been, uh, for the most part, one of the most volatile and unexpected in U.S. history. So let's take a look back at how Senator Tim Kaine gained the nomination. It's the text Democratic insiders have been waiting on all day. Hillary Clinton confirming her selection for the person she hopes will complete a winning ticket to the White House, saying, I'm thrilled to tell you this first. I've chosen Senator Tim Kaine as my running mate. Welcome him to our team. The safe pick. That's what many have called Senator Kane since day one. Elected to Richmond City Council in 1994, becoming mayor of Virginia's capital just four years after that. It was no surprise when he ran for Lieutenant Governor in 2001. And he was a familiar face, seen as a true up and comer in Virginia's political scene by 2005 when Kane was elected governor. He went on to beat former Senator George Allen in 2012 for his current seat. But did he have higher aspirations? It was the question he was confronted with time and time again. A few weeks ago, we got a clue, and now we know. Kane says Donald Trump has a long history of enriching himself at the expense of others, that Trump's rhetoric tears the nation apart instead of bringing us together. What remains to be seen, can a Clinton-Kane ticket be the counter Democrats need to succeed in 2016? McCain tweeted that he's honored Clinton chose him and he'll be getting right to work. He says he'll be hitting the campaign trail tomorrow in Miami. Kane's colleagues are responding to Clinton's decision. Fellow Senator Mark Warner released a statement saying, in part, I enthusiastically applaud Secretary Clinton's choice. Without reservation, I can say there is no one of higher integrity and trustworthiness. Congressman Bobby Scott also sent us a statement saying, quote, while Virginians already know this, Americans not yet familiar with Tim will soon learn that he is a person of substance, compassion, principle, and integrity in his words and in his deeds. The Republican National Committee had this to say. Ultimately, this is a ticket that represents one thing, four more years like the last eight, just with more corruption and scandal. Scandal. A clinton Kane administration will push our country further down the path President Obama has led us on, and that has made us less safe, less prosperous, and less free. 